now the latest around the wide world of tropics. Drop with the bulletin for August 16th. Well, here we are on day 228 of the year, and we have four systems active, whether they're alive or dead. Tropical Storm Fred, which is approaching the Florida Peninsula. Grace, which is now back up to Tropical Storm status. And Linda, which is also back up to a Category 3 hurricane on the 16th day of August. 16W also there, a remnant low at the moment. It's day 77 of Atlantic hurricane season. Fred is approaching the Florida Peninsula. Grace has just been added back as a tropical storm by our analysis, and Invest 96L has rapidly organized and is likely to become a tropical depression in the next few hours. Moving on over to the Eastern Pacific, the only thing here today is Hurricane Linda, which is back to Category 3 status after briefly going down to Category 2, but as of right now it has basically become an annual hurricane, and any weakening at this point is definitely not going to be quick, especially with no shear in the way. In the Western Pacific, 16W has died, but it is expected to regenerate as it continues to the west-northwest. Could become a typhoon as it approaches the northern Philippines or Taiwan. We'll see what happens with that one. And moving on over to the North Indian Ocean, there is nothing going on here and nothing expected in the next five days, as to be expected with the monsoon season continuing and, of course, the fact that it is still mid-August and nothing is, after all, expected for quite some time in this particular basin. Moving on to the satellite imagery for the Atlantic, you can see Fred as it continues to get itself more organized, Recon suggesting that there could be inner core developing. Grace has also been investigated by Recon, Tropical Storm Force winds are uh, being observed, so it is likely that this is back up to Tropical Storm status. National Hurricane Center should be following suit by 11 p.m. Eastern. Linda is putting up quite the impressive show in the Eastern Pacific alone. An annular hurricane that is definitely not going to be weakening very quickly, considering the fact that, of course, annular hurricanes don't tend to weaken as fast as we would typically expect. So, Linda will be lasting a little bit longer here. In the Western Pacific, not much really to talk about. You can hardly see the remnants of 16W, very much disorganized. However, we still have it as a 90% chance of formation in the next five days, and it could definitely become a typhoon, potentially a significant one as we head into next week, probably uh, into the middle of next week. We'll see what happens there. Quite a bit of uncertainty as to what's going to happen at the moment. And the North Indian Ocean, you can see the monsoonal pattern continuing over here. Nothing really else going on that is out of the norm, although it does appear that the monsoon uh, is a little bit more enhanced than what we have been seeing, so interesting to see there. And then, of course, the floater imagery on the three storms between the Atlantic and East Pacific. Fred, of course, being monitored for that inner core there. Grace can be confirmed by Recon to have those Tropical Storm Force winds. Fred will be making landfall tomorrow in Florida, and Grace will be making landfall in Hispaniola as well um, tomorrow morning or early afternoon. In the Eastern Pacific, the sea surface temperatures are around 30 degrees Celsius in the immediate uh, Mexico waters, although they seem to have receded slightly. Other than that, it's around 27 to 28 degrees Celsius for the majority of the basin. Almost the entirety of the Gulf of Mexico, especially the western portion, is now at the 30 degrees Celsius threshold, while most of the tropical Atlantic remains around 28 to 29 degrees Celsius, although parts of the Cape Verde are only at 27 at the moment. Of course, we could see those increase slightly more. In the North Indian Ocean, the temperatures are around 29 to 30 degrees Celsius there. They have been warming in recent weeks, although, of course, the temperatures near Oman remain quite chilly, around 24 to 25 degrees Celsius as you head more westward. In the western Pacific, some of those 30 degrees Celsius pockets are trying to show back up, but other than that, most of the basin remi uh, remains around 28 to 29 degrees Celsius. Uh, some warming, of course, is to be expected as we head further into the season there. We'll see what happens, and of course, 16W will tap into those temperatures. In the sea surface temperature anomaly graph or chart here, we have those temperatures remaining above average for a majority of the Atlantic, and then of course the eastern Pacific is not looking too hot there, and in the western Pacific it's nearly or slightly above average there, with anything north of Taiwan kind of looking unfavorable compared to normal. On this day in 1971, there were four systems active. There was Typhoon Rose, which is uh, the image of the day was coming off its landfall that it had in the Philippines and would soon impact portions of China while Shirley was an out-to-sea typhoon. 
Beth was a hurricane of the Atlantic, and of course Tropical Depression 8 was bringing flooding rainfall to the state of Florida. Of course, this is brought to you by On This Day, powered by Cyclone History. An interesting day, 1971, that it was. Well, that brings us to the next names. At this point, the next name in the Atlantic is now Henri, followed by Ida. Possibly that we could be seeing Henri soon at this point. In the Eastern Pacific, it's Marty, followed by Nora. In the Central Pacific, at Burger King, you can have it your way, but you can't have Hone. Moving on over to the Western Pacific, the next name on the list is Omaze, followed by Kansan. And as of right now in the North Indian Ocean, we are still looking out for Gulab and Shaheen. Moving on over to the Southwestern Indian Ocean, of course that is part of the Southern Hemisphere. Next name there is Ana, followed by Batsurai. In the Australian region, we're looking out for Patty and Ruby. And in the South Pacific, it is Cody. We'll be back for another Tropical Weather Bulletin, whether it's standard or live, tomorrow night. <laughs>